Mobile, I'm making a whole lot of noise out here in the Midwest. Hell, good evening. Mobile. Steve Austin, Mobile, 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 I keyed that thing up in 19 months. It's been 19 months since you keyed it up. And I guarantee you, you got a whole lot of audio after 19 months. Hello, my friend, Steve Walton in the mobile. One that you have not keyed up in 19 months. Take care of it. My pleasure, Steve Walton, Super 7 in the field. Uh oh, we're reading the mail. Yeah, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. I guess I'm going to 
Where's the donuts, Pete? Hey, Rainmaker. Rainmaker, good evening. Oh, it definitely wasn't me. I didn't do it. The guy looked like me. Oh, do you want to ask Cougar? He's in charge. <laughs> uh, I got the radio. Bestie has the chat check-in. Do you not want to upset him? You sound like you do. I do not want to upset him. That's what, you know, I'm trying to get. I'm just trying to be politically correct. I mean, correct. You say you look like you, but did he sound uh, Don't say Mother Nature, because not Mother Nature. It's Mother yeah, I got the radio tonight. Yeah, I hope so. And then Bestie's going to do the uh, chat check-in because popcorn got stuff happening. She's stepping up and helping out in a time of need. Yeah, we're going to have her do the radio one of these nights here. You know, she did it New Year's one time, I think. But, yeah, I'll try to convince her it's time again. Popcorn's a slacker. Popcorn's going to church, man. That's not slacking. It's Good Friday. You know what? I got, oh, man. Hey, I didn't eat no meat today. That, that's a valid uh, argument there. Sorry. As a matter of fact, my breakfast was a Mexican fish filet. Got the fish happening. I'm not Catholic, but... 
I had mac and cheese earlier. <laughs> Garbage food. So what are you, a Christian? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say Good Friday is pretty much the same thing, right? Well, I mean, it. it I'm not in all the commercialism things. I, I'm, I'm more practical in what the holiday is really all about, you know. You got it. We can learn the story of Easter and how how when Jesus came out, he saw his shadow and then... Oh, wait a minute. No, hang on. And a rabbit went around squirting eggs out everywhere. Uh, That's messed up. I've been a Fatima. Or no, I say Senora, a Fatima many times. And every time I was there, there was a little bit of a... Um, Hold on a second, let me call my dog. My dog is... Hey! Yeah, a little goosebump thing going on there. Every time I was there. Oh, no, I saw my ass off on that one. Oh, no, I saw Yeah, we'll have... Jesus today came out, he saw his shadow. It means we have three more days of Easter. Oh, that is so sacrilegious, but it's funny. My bad. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I eat meat every day. I eat meat every freaking day, and today is the first day in a long time. I gotta admit, I'm trying. I'm trying, but it's sounding pretty good right now. Hey, 11.37, I just saw you there in chat. 11.37. What's yeah, going on? Just a hair. You guys know who are two of those Sandoval is? No? How about you, 559? Five, five, uh, two of Could you repeat the question, please? Do you know who Arturo Sandoval is? Arturo Sandoval? Arturo Sandoval, the name is familiar. I'm, I'm think Sandoval, the first thing I think of is a uh, pitcher or a catcher, but hang on. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, he trumpet. Yeah, I cheated because I Googled. Oh, okay. He's a oh, Cuban-American jazz trumpeter and, and a pianist. Yeah, he's pretty good. I'm surprised you never heard of him. Ah, you know, don't pick me for the Trivial Pursuit game team. You know who uh, Doc Jefferson is, right? George Jefferson? Yeah, on TV. George, uh, Doc Jefferson. Played with, uh, Doc Jefferson. Played with Johnny Carson and Johnny Carson band. Oh, yeah, the moving on up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I recognize the name. Teacher used to substitute for that band. Serious? Yeah, he did. He played tr he played trombone and trumpet. And whenever there was one of those guys that was sick, they you know, had to sit out. We would get a substitute in school. I'll be dip. <laughs> And, uh, he's pretty good. He plays all right. He plays a pretty good horn. That's a little bit of a workout, huh? Blowing, uh, you know, if you're blowing hard a lot. Hey, man, it is a workout. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm checking myself in Monday at Highland, because I got something going on with my lungs. Uh, all right. I'm making it known on the CB radio that Monday morning I am checking myself into the hospital and they're trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with me. Are you, are you serious? I am very serious. What the hell? Yeah, I think we missed the story. I'm going to put it out there because I don't have a lung capacity. I'm a, I'm a very avid mountain biker. 
I have put on about 50 pounds in the last year, and I can't breathe. Huh, do you ever get out of breath easy? Oh boy, do I. Stretching in the morning, I'm out cold. When you lay down, is it worse? Yeah, because you might have some uh, congestive heart failure, CHF. Uh, but you know, and if you lay down, it's a lot worse. When you sit up, it's easier. Huh. Um, I have to think about that one. In fact, the CHF patient, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just based on very, very limited info here. The C CHF patient was really tough because we needed to give them oxygen, but they felt like they were drowning like they weren't getting oxygen and so you don't put a cannula that little nose thing you got to put a mask on them and just blast the oxygen but they didn't want a mask on their face because the perception is mentally that oh you're trying to smother me you know get that thing off my face i'm trying to breathe you know so then we ended up having to just hover the hover hover the mask off of their face and just blast the oxygen in their you know in the in their general vicinity I think I can relate. Hover, hover, hover. Damn it, dude. Well, I hope to figure out what's going on. That's no no fun. You get you know, like uh, hypertension, high blood pressure, or anything? No, it's all good. That's all good. Blood pressure's good. Um, cholesterol's good. I just don't breathe very well. Alongside band, but you know how it is. You just switch back and forth. Well, I mean, you haven't had a fever, right? Because there, there's that RSV shit going around, too, that's... Uh, Lung related. Um, let's put it this way. Up until I got my dog, let me introduce you, my dog. Hold on. Goo goo. <laughs> Up until I got my dog, I used to ride about 8,000 miles of mountain bike in a year. And just in the last couple of years, I just can't breathe. Damn it, man. Yeah, well, I hope they figure it out. You say you're going to do with a CAT scan your, uh, your uh, thoracic region? My brother-in-law, my brother-in-law is a doctor in Contra Costa County. As a matter of fact, he is a uh, yeah, he's a doctor in Contra Costa County, and hopefully he can pull a couple strings. Who knows? Right on, dude. Well, I wish you the best, and hope they figure it out. Modern medicine's pretty uh, amazing anymore, so. Even if there's something going on, they'll have a, a fix or something you can take or whatever, you know. Uh, I might just be imagining all of it, you know. Who knows? Be all I can be, so I hope it's working. Yeah, they'll give you, you know, one of the things. They'll test your breathing. You know, if you have, have you blown into one of those uh, chingaderas yet? No, but they put me on a bicycle once, and I told them, you know, I, I run like 8,000 miles a year, and the. Uh, the doctor fell asleep for about an hour and a half while I was riding a mountain bike. I mean, a, you know, a stationary bike. Yeah, that's that's weird, man. That's, uh, you know, hard to say. I mean, it could be a number of things. Uh, we'll see. I'll let you guys know Tuesday. Monday evening, Tuesday, we'll see. You're not that old anyway, right? I am. 57. 57. Damn it, boy. Yeah, that's that's still young, man. Huh. Crazy shit. Well, yeah, let, let us know what's up, man. We'll be thinking about you. Throw a prayer out there and all that. Wave a hand at you. I'm not going to tell you about my teenage years and my 20s. I'm about 87 when it comes to that, if you add that factor in. Well, you add that in, Hover's 130. Hover, hover. I heard that. What's up, old man? Hey, get off my stomach. I get it. Hello out there, King. You're around a shaky ground. A 42. Good man. Got my uh, radio room all perfect now, Alan. Yeah, but not too many people know that I play the horn. Don't let nobody know, huh? I had no idea you were uh, a horny guy. I started playing when I was um, in the fourth grade. Just trumpet or uh, saxophone, sousaphone, sax, uh, tuba, anything else? No, just brass, 
trumpet, and that was it. I could play a couple other things. I could play a French horn if I wanted to. But trumpet was my passion. That's before your time. Old, good old Herb Albert boy, Tijuana Brass. That was the album. The girl with the whipped cream on the front. I think every adolescent boy stared that album at least for a little bit. Whipped cream and. However, he he held that album up with one hand. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. Today and played Reveille for him. Oh, nice. You'll blast the, the warehouse. Uh, <laughs> Bo Jam, I'm going to get my Mexican restaurant food. Why am I going to say Mexican? Is it okay to say Mexican? I'm going to grab my meal. I heard somebody today say Mexican. I went, what? Mexican? He said, yeah, Mexican. Uh, Hosty is doing chat tonight instead yeah. of... Mexican, yeah. Hang on. Mexican. Besties do it instead of Hover because Hover does not have a computer. Oh, we get it. And uh, Hover, even if he had it on his phone... It, it just it wouldn't work. So it wouldn't work. Bestie would be a great job. We're going to have Bestie host one of these on the radio one of these nights. Have her take one of my turns. She did a great job the time she did it last time. But yeah, Hover is... Uh, I don't even think he'd know how to turn on a computer, let alone uh, get into YouTube and, and do the chat and all that. So good luck with that. All clouds matter. <laughs> well, they said the wind is dying down a little bit. I'm gonna, I'll crank it up just before we get started. What are they expecting on the wind? It's it's supposed to ramp off now. Yeah, because up here it wasn't that much at all. Hover gets a text message on his rotary phone. But I did get a lot of atmospheric river coming down, though, straight And then I remember today is Good Friday. Indeed. Happy Good Friday, everyone. Atmospheric river. Stop using that. Oh, my God. That term is so overused, Hover. That's not even much of a river. The, uh, what you call it, the condensation was very heavy. Okay, it was an atmospheric creek. <laughs> That's a good uh, question. Flush their toilet. Twist, I don't know what to tell you. There's the lady next door, but I don't want to spread any rumors. All I know is I had a uh, piscata for breakfast. And um, they got to my Mexican restaurant and I asked if they had any biscotti and they said, nope. I said, goodbye. Biscot is, that, uh, is that a uh, biscuit, like a biscotti, kind of like that? Uh, biscotta, biscotta of uh, fish. Oh, piscado? Oh, so, but you said it in Portuguese? Yeah, sometimes I forget. Oh, well, you said biscotti. I thought uh, pescado, I know. But biscotti, is that uh, Portuguese? Yeah, biscotti, biscotti, Portuguese. Gotcha, biscotti. All right. And then pescado is Spanish. Red one, one. How you doing? Pescado. Hey, fish breath. There you go. Now, here's now the choice. Got my lungs. Uh, Tohengeju. Uh... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call squid? Oh, calamari? Uh, 
in Spanish. Same thing, Portuguese. Oh, Senor Squiddly Diddly. Remember Squiddly Diddly? Oh, wow. What? Yeah, <laughs> well, you said how to say squid in Spanish. Uh, Senor Squiddly and Diddly. That goes back a couple. Man, just a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. What goes back a couple? A squidly dinly. Oh, okay, where are you? Well, I'm over here. Shoot, I'm I'm like tiptoeing. I'm surprised you're hearing me over here. I'm on the Golden Gate. On the bottom of the bridge. I'm swinging off the beams with my walkie-talkie. I could almost hear him. Deadly do right. Hey, hover. Land catches a mud duck. I know. I'm gonna kill on you tonight. It's not a competition. Maybe not for you, mud duck. But I could care less to ask you about it. Hey, if it was a competition, why is my check engine light, VST light on, my four wheel drive light on, and my maintenance required light on? You have to call a mechanic, I don't know one. It only happens when I turn on my radio. That's why I won't put one in my good car because I'd fry the damn computer or something. Shoot, even in my F-250, you know, I key up and it says, trailer disconnected. I look in the mirror, wait a minute, I'm not towing. That's what I'm thinking. It's got to be computer. It's got to be getting in there. Bullshit, I'm calling bullshit. No, bullshit. I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be getting in there. It does get in there. I, I can, my F-250 is proof, man. I had to take an amp out and put, put you know, go a little bit lighter. Cause yeah, it got in the computer and it was it was talking gibberish. Well, when I my my van, I never had those issues. Ground, you got to be properly grounded. I did not even know I had fog lights until I put the wing in my truck. I started getting a fog light light on. What? Told you about that. Dude, I was sitting in my car the other day, and I put my cell phone in uh, airplane mode, and one of my car doors flew off. Uh, yeah, no. I won't quit my day job. Yeah, you gotta do a little bit. A little bit better than that. Yeah, I'm calling bullshit on that. You guys gotta be properly well-grounded, dude. I went through all those kind of issues. Oh, that's bullshit. Alternator in there. Once I put the good alternator in there and ground. No. No issues at all. Hey, right, what year is your vehicle? 2005. Ah, shit. It's only a year younger than mine. All right. I'll give you that one. Hey, right, my, my truck is fully grounded, including ground straps between the upper, the tunnel cover, the, the diamond plate tunnel cover that the 108 is on. And then the tunnel cover down to the to the frame, and then the bat everything's to the battery into the frame. So I am fully fully grounded, and it will still do it. I had to back off the watts. I couldn't run a big box in there because of the computer, unless I was going to put a Faraday around the computer. I'm calling bullshit. Look at ratchet number 27 of the Jane Boys. Look at Bullet Bob. Look at uh, Skywalker. He drives around in a Hyundai Sonata with the 16 pill. What year? All new, a Hyundai, bro. A new 2014 Hyundai. Oh, damn. That goes my serious. Sorry. You just have to see him one of these times, and I'm going to prove it again when I do Smiley's car. I'm going to show you that it can be done. You just got to know what the fuck you're doing. I'm out the way. Well, that leaves me out. Just, just plugged it into the battery. That's all <laughs> I did. Uh, yeah, five one oh. 
Just ask uh, 559, you know, he tried boogie, bringing his booger mobile out there with that Texas Star Sweet 16. He got his ass keyed on against my three pill. Uh, what are you saying? Come on, man. I got a Texas Star 16, and I, I spanked you at least once or twice. Dude, I am not playing. You can ask 183. He spanked his ass also. Who cares? That was like, what, two decades ago? Is that all you got to ride on? No. We all have our history. We all have our days. It's like 20 years ago, and he's still boasting about the one time that I didn't turn the amp on so that he'd feel better. All I know is there's no competition. Maybe not for you. Hey, we all have our sport. I didn't turn the amp on to sort of make him feel better. Yeah. Thirty-seven now. Uh, let me go sit next to you. That way you can see how you can cover me up. No, 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 no! Don't you come over here, in my, in my parents' neighborhood. You want me to come up there? I'm not eating no meat, and I was thinking where we can get some pescada. Some what? Pescada, un peso. Un peso, un sardinha, un canapau, un bacilao, un pescada, come on loins, I don't know. Why'd you get it to go from that uh, place over there near uh, uh, Outdoor Hardware? Outdoor hardware. Yeah, outdoor supply hardware, whatever it is. It used to be Osh over there on uh, uh, by Halcyon. But there's a there's that place. Oh, shit. I can't think of the name of it. Elios. Elios. Elios closed, didn't it? Oh, no, 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 no. The, um... Yeah, that's my neighborhood. Um, the other one, not Elios, but uh, his brother. They closed. Is Elios still in business? It says it's open and closes at 9 o'clock. I got the phone number. Yeah, she, they'd have, I'm sure they have fish. Let me look. I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing a, a steamed, a steamed, um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Alan, that used to be the name of my solar company I worked for. Oh, excuse me, I just love my doobie. I was thinking, um, a filet of fish. I'm looking at their menu right now. I'm scrolling through trying to see what they got, if they have fish. You know they do. They got to. Okay, let's see. They oh yeah, so they got a um, they got fisherman's platter, fried jumbo prawns. They have a petrale sole fried in an egg batter or lemon uh, Greek lemon sauce. They have broiled salmon, they have salmon piccata, and a salmon salad. Where? Uh, Elios. I'm looking at their menu on their website. Page 21. Mexican place on, on East 14th, uh, Mission Boulevard. It's a little triangular building. Comes right to a point. Well, if there, there's like one over near just south of 143rd in that strip mall, too. There, was that uh, Guadalajara? Oh, uh, Guadalajara, yeah, that's okay. That's pretty good. I used to, a lot, I used to get a lot of breakfast there, but I'm thinking the place on a... Oh, wait a minute! What about the place on the boulevard I keep hearing about? Oh, uh, tacos? I don't know. I keep hearing about a place on the boulevard. Well, a lot of places on the boulevard. No, no, I mean it's a Mexican place. 
Uh, yeah, well, I mean, there's a, uh, yeah, for, uh, shoot, I mean, there's several. <laughs> All right, new, small, um, uh, shit. I don't know, I've never heard of it. I mean, I've heard of it. I've heard of it, I've never been there. Well, there's Tacos a Compa. That's the newest one. No, they're on the boulevard. Oh, all right, San Miguel, roughly. Uh, it's on the boulevard by um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Shit, hang on a minute. It's it's right near the. There's a smog place there. It used to be a like a used to be a, a Korean barbecue, and before that, it was a Mexican restaurant. Way before that, I think it was a El Taco, like in a million years ago. Oh God, it's gotta be by right there by um. No, no, not that. That was like the little trailer. Hang on, I've I'm almost got you here. I just need to put it in a map and I can tell you exactly. I'm just wondering what the flavor of the day is. Oh, uh, so Wisteria. It's, it's like the closest corner is on Wisteria, where Arco's on, on the opposite corner. And there's, yeah, there's a smog, that smog place there, I think. No, no, no. It's closer to Lake Chabot. So there's a Wisteria. It's right after Wisteria. If you head into Castro Valley, there's on the corners the Smog World, and then next door to it's a. It has the old like arch. It's like old terracotta roof, and it has the arch glasses like the old El Tacos and talk had. Okay, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're new there. I don't know if they got fish though. They probably do. All right. Yeah, five ten purple. It is purple. Yeah, I'm looking now. Hang on. Oh, they got their uh, coming up on their menu. Purple. What do you say? Brown wheat is a flavor? Purple, damn it. Purple. <laughs> it ain't purple like Barney, is it? Well, yeah. Hey, Land Crusher. Purple like uh, Mexican? You ready? They got shrimp cocktail, shrimp ceviche, shrimp fajitas, garlic shrimp plate. Camarones empanizados. the hell is that? Oh, uh, fried, breaded. Uh, and camarones a la diabla. That all sounds good. Now, wait a minute. You said something I've been wanting to know. Ceviche. What is that? Uh, it's gonna usually seafood that's been cooked in lime juice. And, you know, a lot of times it has onions, cilantro, and stuff like that. It's hella gay. And tomato. Ceviche is so like, uh... Yeah, and uh, they cut up pieces of, this one says shrimp, but uh, yeah, you can put pieces of fish and stuff, but you don't cook the fish, the, the lime juice cooks the, the meat, and uh, yeah, and like Fai else said, you put a little diced tomato too. The acid in the lime juice cooks it.
I like it natural. Nothing on it. Yeah, papaya or mango uh, salsa. Put that in instead of tomatoes. And then do whatever other salt, so- uh, like uh, you could do ceviche in there. Ceviche! Uh, yeah, I tried some Oakland and some of the. Some of the. Um, some of the uh, YouTube's best known, well known neighborhoods in Oakland, and they got ceviche everywhere. Guess you gotta watch your step, huh? You know what, though? I eat in a lot of these places. I got my little, I got my, I got my, uh... I don't I got think you got that. that. I go to frequently, and they take care of me. You always got pretty good ceviche, too, but it's in Hayward. Is There's a, a little uh, Mexican store, and they have, a, a like, a you know, they have some food in there, too. And it's at the A Street in Hesperian next to the Salvation Army place. And uh, their sylvi- their ceviche is really good. I don't think I've ever had it, but I've seen it. I've, I've seen it on, uh, you know, the signs that they got a... They got a hand paint on the side of their um, trucks, whatever. On the side of the freeway, on the side of the road. Ceviche. I think I asked 510 about it the other day. And I wasn't sure if I was saying it right. But it's a C H E V I C something E A. I don't know. Yeah, ceviche, ceviche. I think is proper pronunciation. So ceviche. And uh, yeah, they'll serve it like with some tortilla chips, or sometimes like in a tortilla shell that's been fried, or you can even eat it just as is. But yeah, it's all good, dude. If you like fish or shrimp and stuff like that. And you don't mind a little bit of lime base. It's it's worth trying. Well, I grew up eating smelt. <laughs> smelt. Oh, smelt. He, he smelt it. <laughs> you must have dealt it. That sir smelt was a shit. It was so good growing up on that. Remember, you smelt it, you dealt it. Now, I'm not talking about that now. My machine shop teacher, my machine shop teacher used to say, now, if you smell somebody's fart, it is a proven fact that 90 whatever percent of all the f- smelling that's done is on the back of your tongue. And he would say that therefore, that, whatever, you know, therefore, when you smell somebody fart, you're eating their shit. Are you a shit eater? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. I don't know. Have you ever smelled a fart? No, I try not to smell other people's farts. But I can't smell my own neither, so I don't know. That story leaves kind of a shitty taste in my mouth. Macy's escalator and I rip a fucking, a stinky ass one and I jump over the other side. Unless you just smell it all the way up, right? You gotta do that right before you get off at your floor. You know, leave them something to savor. Oh yeah, dude, I used to be good at it. Get off an escalator, you name it. Get off an elevator. You know, if you're doing it on the move, they call that crop dusting. <laughs> yeah, when you go through an office with cubicles, that's it. You know, you do, it's crop dusting. You, you know, you spread the love. Yeah, I've, I've been in the cubicle world, so yeah. I was a salary sucker in the cubicle world in the uh, semiconductor industry. Semiconductor manufacturing freaking crap. Yeah, I was there. In jail, they call it a drive-by. Hey, what are you doing right there? All right, here comes the rain and a little bit of wind. No, we don't see that on our side, Hover. Uh, yeah, it's been over there on the west side, please. Yeah, keep that stuff on the west side over there. No, 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 we'd like to share it. No, 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 you can keep it over there. I think you got a rain cloud going on over there. It's never going to let you put your antenna back up. Uh, oh. Oh, excuse me, that didn't mean to come out. I don't know where I'm at, but I know I'm in a key on land crusher. Uh oh, Hawaii's coming in. Aloha, 
Hawaii, copy Belmont hovercraft out here. Yellow 707 Mini Grass, Aloha, Hawaii. Hovercraft 611, Belmont, California. Wait till I put up the cereal. Yeah, thirty five ten. What's up? Thirty you're taking about keen up on me, good luck. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe your clock out. And our competition man. Okay, you can go last, I'll I'll take first. Oh wait a minute. Last sounds good. I can do last. Because you're not going to get first. Ah, fuck you. Pardon me. Pardon my French. Ah, that's all I'm going to say. Don't make me spend no money. Don't make me go to Clyde's Corner and buy up the, like, uh, a warmer, a foot warmer, something like that. I know. Let me get my Francis, my Francis 5 eighths wave freaking antenna. You better just quit playing and bring the house antenna on a five foot pole, then you might be able to kill me. Uh, what was that? 102, 108 is Francis 5 eighths wave fiberglass antenna. Smoked the stainless steel one. No way. Keep telling you, it did. It was one S unit. Alright, if you bring that antenna, then I'll have to bring the seven foot skip shooter. It was one S unit. I'm telling you, dude, it was one S unit. Difference. About um, 25 yards from where I'm at right now. And like I said, you know what I'm at, I'd have to put it in four-wheel drive to get up there. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I'd test all my antennas against a 102-inch whip. If it can beat a 102-inch whip, it's a very good antenna. My 7-foot skip shooter gives me two S units over the 102-inch whip, and that's a damn good improvement. Civil War coming out uh, April 10th. 
maybe. Well, if we probably you're right. I, I'm just sinking to this feed. Usually try to sink to the feed, then once in a while I like look and it's like eight oh eight oh and four seconds I'm oh oops. On YouTube? Yes, sir. Look him up, Mr. Beast. Mr. As M R B A S T, whatever Beast. He's got to look him up because he's got good ideas, good activities, and shit to do. Learn. Look it up. He's got two hundred and like sixty-seven million subscribers, uh, which makes me think: how many people are in the United States? Remember, I'm old. Does he like review bingo? Too many people. He started when he was 11 years old. Doing video games of himself. You look him up. Uh, hey, um, there, um, seriously, Alan, I've watched some of his, um, how he made it big and how. He progressed his YouTube channel, and a lot of it makes sense. It's all about dedication. One, one, oops, no bueno. Yeah, bueno. What guy makes 650 million a year? Come on. Uh, no bueno when this thing's squirreling like a pig. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Is this one squealing? Wee! Wee! If you don't put them up, you've got to get their feet up about three feet higher higher than their head. And then when you slice them in the neck, that doesn't last very long. I think it's working. Oh, dang it. It's good. My image of bacon. Damn. Yeah, there goes all the bacon levers. You're like, oh, man. I haven't had bacon forever, and I don't miss it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it, too. Go back up to the Sierras, up around 6,000 feet. Holy crap. Bacon, put the old check, check. That's 460. Oh, Tuning up somewhere else. Cardiac bacon and eggs, boy. You see a restaurant they have? It's actually, it's all based around the, the horrible uh, health benefits like all the waitresses have nurse outfits on and they name their burgers like heart attack and stuff like that sounds like that kind of place I hate to say but we'll be after Monday heart attack grill maybe in Texas yeah like I said ask me, a, ask me that question Monday but right now oh, that sounds like my kind of place you can ask me anything you want about open heart surgery it, it really ain't nothing oh man yeah, that's what I used to think until I had to have it done. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, wait, who's that? Cannibal? You got it. Yeah, you t I remember hearing the story. You told somebody. Yeah, I mean, all my life I thought, man, I could. I'd never been under the knife. Never been under. Never had an operation. Until I had that one, I go big, trust me. When I do it, I go big. And I remember you saying that you had no energy, no this, no that. You didn't want to do shit all day long. Oh, no, yeah. I was, I was getting up every morning. I was sore as a son of a bitch, man. I had lower back pain like you couldn't believe. I was like 90, like, like I was 99 years old getting out of bed, grabbing the wall to get out of bed, get moving, go to work. Man, by the time I was at work for just fuck two hours, my legs start swelling up, you know, get home and check, I had check, no check. energy. You know, I knew I had a sink full of dishes, I had laundry to do, and it wanted to do shit. My dad wasn't even checking in on Friday nights. Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, good. You're getting a check. You were telling somebody Oops. about your whole symptoms and everything, and I listened to, and I was on the side, and I was thinking to myself, motherfucker, man, are you describing me? Uh, I'll tell you mine. Mine all started out with a little cough. It would be, I could yeah. put a few words in a sentence out. Like, I talk now, I talk, and I talk, and I talk when I get talking if I'm not sandbagging, you know. Um, there's no stopping me, but, you know, I'd get a few words few words out in a sentence, and I'd have to stop because I couldn't talk anymore. I couldn't get any more sound out, and I'd have <laughs> just a small little cough to continue talking. And uh, that, was the, that was the indicator right there, man, something was wrong. Yeah, like I tried to say when you started to describe that, yeah, I know the cough. I think I know the cough well. I don't, I mean, I'm not around you all the time, but when I hear you on the radio, I don't ever hear you have to take that pause and um, have that little cough, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. But, yeah, that, that little cough, man, and it was my girlfriend that says, uh, when she first heard me have that little cough, I thought nothing of it, you know, I thought nothing. And she was like, I, I don't like that, you need to go to the hospital. No, 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 I'm all right, you know. I don't know, a couple months or so later, finally she talked me into going to the hospital. And, yeah, there was something wrong, all right. Yeah, I cough. I um, strategically plan out my key-ups. Let's put it that way. Oh, um, well, uh, yeah, I don't want to hear it. If, if you have anything similar, yeah. definitely go and have them look. I mean, from my point of view, with what happened to me, have them look for endocarditis. That's what did it to me. That's what had me doing that call. And that was a bacterial infection that got into my heart. Um, they say there's two ways they find it. That's intravenous drug users, or um, which I have never done in my fucking life. I was even fighting with them to give me to take blood because I hate needles. And um, uh, dental work. And I just had a tooth pulled. That was a typo, before. guys. I knew I wasn't going to live down that typo the minute I saw it. <laughs> oh, well. You know, you got to find out. Oh, uh, wait. What, what does the uh, dental thing have to do with it? A little under five minutes. Well, I had a tooth pulled. Um, so it was before this. About a month, month and a half before. It was in September. Wait, let me see. September, I had a tooth pulled. And then in October 16th, I was in the hospital admitted. Um, it allowed the bacteria, because your mouth, you, the human mouth is the dirtiest mouth. I mean, dogs lick their assholes, and they have a cleaner mouth than we do for some fucking reason. Um, the bacteria got... Don't try that with me. Didn't give me any, any antibiotics. Well, think about your own dogs. You know, anyway, the bacteria got into my bloodstream, and then it, it made its way to my heart, and it attacks the inner linings of the, the heart muscle. And it ate up my aortic valve, and that's what was causing all my symptoms. Uh, yeah, I heard a couple of people say something about a dog's a bacteria. I'll tell you what. I know about that. My dog, um, whole different subject, but my dog in the last month cost me 30 thousand dollars yeah, uh, dogs might be able to do that. That's the bacteria shit is what... I'd have to take Pilates for five years to be able to do that. Anyways, um... Yeah, endo... So I have a thing going on in my mouth also. That's why then you said something about a tooth being pulled or whatever. I got something going on in my mouth. Above my tooth is broken a little bit. Endocardia, what? Uh, that's endocarditis. Endocarditis. And yeah, it, this is how my cardiologist 
put it to me. You put your hand right on your chest over your heart. There's your heart, right? You move it up. You move your hand up a little bit. There's your mouth. You move it up a little bit more. There's your brain. Everything that's sensitive in your system that, that, that keeps you alive is within such a close proximity to your mouth. You know, everything that passes through your mouth goes right past your brain and right past your All right, heart. well, that takes out me wanting to lick my butt like a dog. Well, you're not fucked, bro. You're not fucked. Nope. Trust me. But you need to do what you said you're going to do, and that's Monday, and go in and uh, go get checked out and uh, have them take some blood. Yeah, I'll try to read it off in the end. And I'll definitely uh, type it up and put it into the uh, to the video description, and that's uh, in reference to Bestie's comment about the uh, who's checking in on chat. So uh, yeah, Bestie's doing chat tonight. Appreciate it, and uh, we're uh, looking forward to that. No, I did not go home. I went into the hospital. With two minutes in Castro Valley, and I was within minutes. I was. We're a little under two minutes. In Oakland. By ambulance, and then uh, I was. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? See in, um, in San Francisco, I got a phenomenal, phenomenal doctor, surgeon, um, world renowned. Somehow, I got lucky as hell. Named Doctor Agri, Glenn Agri, and um, he fixed me up good. And we got less than a minute and a half. After we check in, let's take it up to 28. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we'll go there right after check in. Yeah, you can get that from uh, flossing, can't you? Ah, uh, well, uh, you can get it from dental work. Um, you know, anytime you open up your bloodstream to, to let that bacteria in, uh, your uh, uh, yeah. the bacteria is in your mouth, and you one minute, hold, and it gets in your bloodstream, and you're fucked. You know, I'm living proof. Thirty seconds. Uh, we're about fifty. Five uh, forty-five. Can I ring the bell? Forty. Can I ring the bell? Yeah, it is. I want to ring the bell. I got the bell. I got a bell, too. See? Oh, sorry. I rung it. Uh, false start. Everybody back on the blocks. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Anticipation word. Oh, excited. Word. All right, it's number 247. And uh, I'm your host tonight, and uh, Bestie's going to do the chat. Appreciate her stepping up. Popcorn is uh, off doing stuff tonight, and uh, happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. And uh, let's get this party started, man. Who's going to be the number one tonight? 460 is first. I got 460. Then I heard worldwide. So 460 is one. Uh, 510 is number two. Number three. Time bomb. Checking in. Time bomb. Time bomb. I got you at number three. And running man. Running man. Running man. Running man. I got you at number four. Go ahead. Land Crusher, Land Crusher is number five. Six three one. Six three one. Six three one is six. Uh, Cannibal, you're number seven. Uh, number eight. Boy. Chica de cable. Yes. Chica de cable. Numero ocho. Gracias. De nada. Okay, number nine. Super Pete, check it in. Super Pete is number nine. Number ten. Queen, you don't sound like Queen Smiley. What the heck? That Queen Smiley's voice changed. No, we're still looking for 10. All right, that's Corazon. Corazon checking in. Corazon is uh, number 10. Number 11. Uh, Super Pete, I got you. Super Pete at number 9 already. Uh, looking for 11. Hover, Hovercraft is number 11. Number 12. Uh, super Spreader, Super Spreader is number 12. Mother Mother checking in. Mother Mother is 13, good evening, number 14. Was that Viking? Viking, you're number 14, go ahead, 15. Yeah, we got that many grass trying to check in. Number 15, we're looking for 15. Well, Digger is trying to get in. 
Uh, well Digger is uh, 15. Thanks for the relay. Uh, we're near looking for uh, 16. Looking for number 16. Undertaker, Undertaker, you're number 16, 429, you're not on 28. Uh, Undertaker is number 16, looking for 17. Uh, who was that again? 17? I can hear him just fine. I can't hear anyone when you're keyed up. Uh, we're looking for 17. It is. Shut up. Looking for 17. He's helping out by keying up so I can't hear anybody. You're doing pretty good. You're doing all right. You're helping out. The squeal on the mic front hurts, but you're doing all right. All right, we're still looking for 17 despite all the extra radio traffic. Who wants 17? Son of a bitch, here we go again. Was that 547? Night Train 547, good evening. Night Train, you are number uh, 17. Uh, looking for 18. Who wants 18? Fuck. Hey, who's that in the mini grass? Uh, try it again. Uh, one second, I got uh, one Adam 12 in there. One Adam 12, you're number 18. Uh, who's in the mini grass? I want to check in. I can hear if you shut up. Uh, try it out in the mini grass again. Every time I get off the key, you're flapping your yap. Go to 28, dude. It's, you're not helping. You're hindering. Looking for 19. If you want to relay, then relay. Otherwise, shut your yap. All right, we're looking for 19. Loose connection. Did I not get you already? I guess not. Uh, loose connection, you're 19. Are you? Are you relaying 26, or are you gonna talk to him for a few minutes? I can put 26 in. All right, looking for 21. I'm gonna put 26 at 20. 429 is not gonna shut his pie hole. That's pretty obvious. Looking for 21. Ah, hit the middle, out of the middle of the road. Dude, all you got to do is 26 is trying to check in. Let me know, and then shut the fuck up. You're sitting there talking to him. That's not going to help thing. We're trying to check people in. Good, get out of here. Number 21, we're looking for 21. This gets get old, you know. Yeah, Same two players. 510, not so much, but man. Long head. history with this dude screwing head. stuff up. Yeah, who's checking in from the islands? 4 0. 4 0 is number 21. Hey, number 40, we got you. Number 40, you're number 21. Aloha. We're looking for 22. Uh, 242 Danville, you are number 22. So, again, that's 26 was a 20. 
Number 40 in Hawaii is number 21, 242 Danville's 22, looking for 23. Aloha. Yeah, you checked in number 40 of coconut tea there, come on. Alright, we're looking for 23. Well, Tim, take your animal and put a little line with that coconut ganja. Coconut ganja. Oh, 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 yeah, don't stick your finger in the pole. Friday check in number 247. We've already got uh, 22, looking for number 23. 635, I got you. 635, you are 23. Two two ZX pink number twenty four. Thanks for checking in. All right, looking for twenty five. And uh, shout out to Bestie. Thank you for uh, doing the chat check in tonight. I appreciate it. Helping out. Popcorn has stuff to do. And apologies if I'm blowing my stack at 14.9, but this dude has a, a long history. Long history of, of sidetracking uh, roll calls. So if you say, seem like I'm overreacting, it's just got because there's a lot of history there. A lot of bad blood. So that's what's up with that. Anyway, we're going to keep keep on having fun. All right, looking for 25. I'll start uh, typing up the, the uh, radio check-ins and get it put in the video description. And then uh, at the end of the tonight, uh, Bestie will give me a list. I'll try to read both if I can get away with it. And then I'll, uh, I'll post the uh, chat check-ins tomorrow on the uh, video description. So I'll do radio radio uh, check-ins. I'll try to keep current in the video description. I'm typing those up now. And then the uh, chat will be put on tomorrow. Friday night check in. Who wants to check in? Who hasn't checked in yet? Yeah, you have a relay. Go ahead. Shadow puppet. Shadow puppet is uh, do, 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 twenty five. Yeah, who? 290. 290. 290 is uh, 26. Uh, by the way, AK, 6 Hey, give me about uh, 30 seconds. I'm going to put my tower the rest of the way up. The wind is uh, is below 20 now. Um, I'm going to step away from the radio for just a second so I won't hear your call. Uh, give me about uh, 30, 45 seconds. I'm going to put the antenna back up uh, so I can get a better copy on the distance station. I'll be right back. 
get it up. Salut, salut. Long head. Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. Any, sir. All right, I'm back. I put the tower back up. The wind is back down. Should be able to hear people better. Uh, who hasn't got checked in yet? I told Bessie before she got started I was going to keep an eye on, on 546. I have a big old stick sitting here. I'm going to beat him with it if he gets out of hand. <laughs> yeah, I like it. When Bestie does it too. I must admit, I agree with you there. All right, Friday date check in number 247. We're looking for number, what the hell are we looking for? 28. Friday night check-in, we're looking for number 28. Maintenance man, I got you. You are number 28. Good evening. Good evening. We copy 28. Thank you and have a good night. You too. Whoa. All right, we got 28 so far. Looking for 29. What the hell? You're on side, man. I am on side, Ryan Adler. I'm sorry. This is Condor Man checking in. Condor Man, you are uh, number 29. Good evening. Good evening and uh, happy Wolf Friday, everyone. Yeah, you too. <laughs> okay, Condor Man is uh, 29, looking for 30.
just get uh, caught up on the uh, radio check-ins. So uh, give me just a minute. I'll be posting that in the video description. We have uh, 29 so far. We got uh, 29 so far, looking for 30. White Cracker is 30. All right, White Cracker is 30, looking for 31. Friday check-in number 247, looking for number 31. And uh, once again, thanks uh, and a shout out to Bestie, who is uh, doing the chat check-ins tonight. Popcorn couldn't make it, so uh, she stepped up and is doing that, so really appreciate it. Uh, you want to email it to me? Bestie, if you want to copy-paste, I mean, I don't know if you want to go to all that work. It sounds like a lot of work. Or if you want, why don't you just take a picture with your cell phone? Take a picture of the sheet that you got with your cell phone. I can start typing it up. It's a team effort tonight. We've got Bestie in the other room. I'm in the radio room. How many? Who wants to have Bestie do the radio check-in? Break one seven. Dutch, you're thirty-one. Dutch. Hey, good evening. Who's doing the roll call or check-in tonight? That would be me, and you're thirty-one. Yeah, just a couple of years back. <laughs> yeah, just a couple. Calm down there, 546. Get your own dang girlfriend. <laughs> this Chuck needs to take a cold shower. But anyway, who wants to have a... What I was going to say is, who wants Bestie to do a radio check-in? Who, who, uh, who wants to have her uh, do a check-in again? Let us know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Give us a thumbs up or yay Bessie or something. I, she did great. Catch you all later. Back to the movie. See you later, Dutch. All right, we got uh, 31 looking for 32. Yeah, she did good, man, last time. I thought it was her first time on the radio, too. And she killed it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it off of there very easily, Bestie. I mean, if you want to put it in the chat for them, that's fine. I'll either wait for the sheet or if you want to... 
text a picture of it. I can work off a picture. Because i got to retype it anyway. Did you got the locations on there? That's what I'm wondering. So. All right, who hasn't got checked in? We have 31 so far. Looking for 32. On this Friday night check-in. Hey, Chuck, calm down, man. Talking about my girlfriend here. Dang it, isn't anything sacred? I know, I know you're harmless, dude, but, but when you make a little comments here and there, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about someone's woman, like, you know, so just be, be cool. It's all good. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Jet, uh, uh, 183. Thinking uh, if she got out there, we'd probably triple the, the uh, viewership. No one wants to hear me. Much rather hear a bestie out there. I think that uh, that check-in got taken down with my old channel, though, uh, which kind of sucked. She, uh, uh, Jake, she did great, dude. Um, she did really good, and she, did, you know, first time on the radio, and she did uh, roll call. I think it was a New Year's Eve, or I don't remember, something like that, and uh, yeah, she did a hell of a good job. Hi, we're uh, 26 minutes into this thing, and uh, 31 so far, looking for 32. The golden voice, how about that? Yeah, it was New Year's Eve, I thought so. Yeah, that was rocking. Popcorn! Uh, Bestie is doing it tonight there, Popcorn, and we'll listen for you on the radio. Hey, uh, 1220. Sorry, I think you said hi a minute ago. My bad. Well, Bestie's uh, stepped up for Popcorn. Popcorn would have done chat tonight, but Popcorn had stuff. Uh, is that, uh, who's that, Greasy Food? This is Condorman, but it's... Uh California kid is checking in. Oh, California kid. Okay, number 32. Thank you for the relay. Number 32. If you got a California kid, you, have, you got number 32. You are going to have a nice Good Friday. Thanks for the relay. 
Anytime, sir. Hey, 918, why don't you check in on the radio? I can hear you. Get on the radio, dude. I'm sure I could probably get you from Gold River. I got 32 so far, looking for 33 on this number 247 check-in. <laughs> twist, I saw that. Uh, you're not going to let me live that down, are you? That's funny. Checking in on shots. Uh, I'm not, not going to live that one down, am I? <laughs> one small typo. Hi, we're at the halfway mark and we're still looking for number 33. <laughs> what about William Shatner? Star Trek. Yeah, come join us on YouTube on the live chat. Good God. Yeah, I'm going to have to own that one forever. For the record, the S key isn't that far from the C key. Just for the record. All right, who hasn't got checked in yet? We're standing by. That's a good idea, huh? Do a New Year's stream and celebrate the different time zones. Hey, look out for me, 511, 28-hour, OGW, 28-hour, we're checking in, Hey, GW, I got you in there at number 33. How's that work? All right, I'll see you, GW. Thanks for checking in. Number 33, we're now looking for 34.
Yahoo. Yeah, who is it? All right, we got 33. Who wants 34? That guy uh, who was just on GW in Twain Hart, he's about 100 miles from me. That, That was a local shot from ridge to ridge. But I think he's about 100 miles. In fact, I'll check. Now I'm curious. But I think it's about 100 miles. I got a thing to calculate that. Crow flies. Oh, wow. I was way off. Hang on. Oh, no. I had it in kilometers. <laughs> so, uh, he's a proc- as the crow flies calculator says that he's 107 miles from my town to his town. So, roughly 107 mile uh, local uh, shot with uh, GW, the guy who just checked in. Pretty good for local uh, local distance, huh? Over 100 miles? Not bad. And uh, thanks for everyone for uh, showing up tonight on YouTube and uh, hanging out. Again, another uh, shout out to Bestie who... Uh, stepped up and uh, filled in for popcorn doing the uh the online check-in tonight really appreciate that whoop whoop thank you very much all right who hasn't got checked in yet we still got about 25 minutes left Hovercraft was supposed to bring free beer. Say what? Where's the free beer? No free beer. Okay, fine. I don't even have any beer for myself. All right, no free beer, but we're looking for 34. Hey, have a safe trip, Bolte. Go back in God's country out there, huh? I get that Bluetooth wireless coax. Bluetooth wireless coax. It's the wave of the future. All right, we're still, I mean, (coughs) still looking for 34. Who has not checked in yet? I know you're out there.
Friday night check-in number 247. We've got uh, 33 so far, looking for 34. I kind of figured it might be a little slower with uh, Good Friday, Easter weekend, people off doing family and all that. Uh, what are we, Jed? What are we talking about? Job site ticker. Are you talking about that little cartoon thing? With all the crazy uh, construction stuff? Yeah, I'm back. What the heck? What the heck? Where is the what? Where is the big chicken in? Yeah, who is that? <laughs> I went in there. Elizabeth, hello, how are you? All right, I heard a little cough. I hope you're not sick. Elizabeth, you are number 34. Thanks for checking in. What the heck? What the heck? You're 34. Aw, there's a cute moment. Yeah, that's right. We got the young ones in here, too. Everyone's welcome. All right, we're looking for 35. That's cute, huh? I miss a little ice cream. I gotta get a hey, twelve twenty if you're still out here, bro. Twelve twenty. Not sure if you're still in chat or not, but you gotta get a little ice cream back out and check in too. And uh, Twizzler, right? Is it Twizzler and little ice cream? Get the littles out here, man. Get the littles interested. Uh, five one zero. Shit, I forget. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cute, huh? I love it when the littles get on there. We need more of that, really, you know? A little less of that rhetoric like uh, <coughs> the other guy. And uh, a little more of that cute stuff. Get the littles out there. Get them interested in the hobby. Teach them to be junior mud ducks. They are the mud ducks of the future. All right, looking for 35. And uh, what do we got left? We got about... Uh, 19 minutes. Oh, 18 minutes. Oh, bestie, you're busy tonight. They're working you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, just hand me the sheet later. 
I can do, uh, I'll do read back when you got, we're about two minutes out there, maybe you can uh, just bring in the sheet. We'll do a last call, so on uh, chat check-ins about, we'll probably do a last call on chat check-ins about 8.57, 8.58 right in there. And, uh, well, I don't know if I'll read your writing or not. If not, I'm just going to make up a bunch of names. And everyone can choose their new handle. <laughs> How about that? Hi, looking for number 35. So about, uh, about 8.57 or so, we'll probably pull the plug on the chat. 8.57, 8.58. We'll call last call on the chat check-in. And uh, then that way, Bestie can shoot me the sheet. And that sheet, not shat, it's a sheet. And uh, we'll try to do a read bank. But keep from dropping the feed. That's been a problem in the past. Having the, uh, the feed drop while I was reading while I'm on the key too long. So, yeah, we'll see if we can pull it off. I hope so. I'm going to try to do both. We'll try to do the radio. Radio and the... Uh, Oh, you, yeah, I didn't mention that, Bestie. You only get a 58 minutes because if you did a full 60 minutes, then you're full-time, and then I'd have to pay them benefits. So, because uh, you did 58 minutes instead of 60 minutes, I don't have to put, uh, to pay benefits. That's, that's, that's the way it works here. What a... No, there's people out there like that. Shysters. Shysters, I tell you. I'm not one of them. Just joking. Yeah, they need 10 minutes to write down what they think about you before their next deployment, right? How does that make you feel? Uh-huh. Well, and how does that make you feel? It's a happy Good Friday. It's a number 247 check-in. And we're looking for number 35. We got 34 in the book so far. 35 is up next. If you have not checked in, what are you waiting on? All of them. Mud ducks. Every last one of them. Oh, so no, there's no, how does that make you feel, huh? Uh, only in the movies. We should have a, a I don't know, can you do that, Bestie? Can you do a, a, we'll do a therapy night on the CB radio? That would be a hit, man. You know, call in with your problems. Hello, you're on the air. What's wrong with you? Wouldn't that be fun? Does that would that violate any professionals, anything? Or can you? Uh, that would be cool. We have like you know CB therapy night on the radio. We just get on here and let Bestie know how jacked up you are. Never mind that everyone else is watching, of course. You know. Yeah. We might be on to something. Therapy night on YouTube. Put a quarter in the slot and hear how screwed up you are. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, Popcorn, you don't think they'd let the, the walkie-talkie in there? <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, we missed you, man. Six and a quarter, I got you. Six and a quarter, you're number 35. 35. What about 393? Are you relaying 393 in? 
Eastern, at the Eastern, six and a quarter, 393, just checking in, Aloha. Hey, 393, uh, or is that 393 or 392? Is that 393 or 392? That's 393, but he probably can't hear you because uh, six and a quarter is on the mall. Yeah, right on there, six and a quarter, man. Six and a quarter, you take care, man. Hope I'll see you next year at the break again, man. I've run a lot for Hoy Hoy. Six and a quarter, take care. Have a wonderful day. I'm playing the mini grass. Three nights in the mini grass. I was just trying to join in a check in, but I guess nobody can hear me right. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, take care. Three nights, three all over. Hey, 393, I got you on check-in. Yep. Hey, 393, I don't know if he's still on the key. 393, we got you on check-in. 393, you're number 36. 36. And we're looking for 37. And thanks, 510, for that. Looking for 37. Hey, 393, I got you in the check in. 393, I got you. Number 36, Aloha. Yeah, Coming up on about eight minutes left. We have uh, 36 so far, looking for 37. Also, uh, for everyone who uh, believes there, the uh, happy Easter weekend to everybody. Happy Easter weekend. I'm right, looking for number 37, eight minutes. Hey, 393, I got you already, bro. You are uh, 36. 393, you're number 36. We got you. Aloha. Uh, Hillbilly 35 or what What was it? Hillbilly what? Uh, Hillbilly and Antioch. Uh, what was the number? Hillbilly 35? I think it's Hillbilly 45. Hillbilly 45? Okay, gotcha. Thank you. If I went over Hillbilly 45, you're number 37. 37.
Hey, uh, 483, man, uh, you too. Thank you. Is that supposed to be flowers or feathers? Hey, popcorn. I didn't know a turkey had flowers, man. You're only supposed to have a little sip of the wine tonight. What, did, what happened? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so we're going to cut the... Uh, well, maybe we'll go till uh, seven till eight fifty nine for the uh, online chat because uh, Bestie's feeling uh, left out. We're cutting her off early. Relay for All right, twelve twenty relay. Uh, he is number thirty eight. Uh, 1220 is 38, and if he checked in on the chat, when I type it up, I'll go ahead and pull him off of the chat check-in, and uh, he'll be on the uh, radio check-in there. No problem. Looking for uh, So if you guys, uh, anybody out there doing anything for the uh, Easter weekend, uh, just please be safe and enjoy it. And yeah, who is that checking in? Do it again. Yeah, try again for check-in. Uh, was there someone uh, trying to check in? Go again. Oh, enjoy that. Yeah, I'm going to take a break, too. I'm just going to leave. It's 8.56. I'm just going to take off for a while. I'll be back. No. <laughs> I don't think so. We're under four minutes. Uh, who wants to check in? Getting down to the wire, peoples. All right, we'll see with a little luck. I'm going to try to do a read back of uh, the radio check ins and the uh, online check ins. And hopefully the feed doesn't drop. I've had that problem in the past where uh, I'm on the key too long and it, pfft, next thing you know, YouTube says, see ya. So if it drops, I'm sorry. I think I might have a solution. I'm going to try it again. Last week I was successful, uh, but again, I didn't read both of them. So I might unkey between the two lists. But I'm going to give it a go. And then hopefully we don't drop. If we do... Sorry about that. And then uh, by tomorrow, I'll type up the uh, video description for the online stuff. I should be current, except 1220. I got to add 1220. But otherwise, uh, the uh, radio check in should be current on the video description. All right, coming up on the two minute warning. Two minutes. If you haven't checked in, you're running out of time. And uh, Bestie, if you have 1220 on your list, uh, go ahead and scratch him. We had a relay on radio. So, uh, as you know, we either have you on uh, chat check-in or radio check-in, but not both. And for people that ask, how come you do that? It's just so we can kind of get an accurate idea of how many people are participating. 
if you check in on both and it's going to skew the numbers so that's that's the idea behind it so checking in on radio or checking on chat but you can't have both all right coming up on the last minute warning who else wants to get checked in Can this? You know who? Oh, greasy food. Yes, sir. Number uh, 20 Nueve, 20 Nueve. Thank you very much, my friend. Have a great weekend down there. Yep, you too. Thank you. All right, greasy food is 39. Any last minutes? We're down to 40 seconds. Down to the wire, last call, 15 seconds. Nine o'clock. And here we go. Hopefully I don't get kicked off here. We'll go ahead and do a read back from the uh, online check-in first. Uh, the, going from number one spot, 460, 510, time bomb. Running Man, Land Crusher, 631, Cannibal, Chica de Cable, Super Pete, Corazon, Hovercraft, Super Spreader, Mother Mother, Viking, Well Digger, Undertaker, Night Train, 1 Adam 12, Loose Connection, 2640-242-635, 22ZX, uh, Shadow Puppet, 290-941, Maintenance Man, Condor Man, White Cracker, Dutchman, California Kid, GW Elizabeth, 6 and a quarter. 393 Hillbilly 45 1220 and Greasy Food. And hopefully, Bessie will be behind me here in a second and hand me a list. So I'll read back the, uh, the onliners. And uh, so here is the uh, online chat. Uh, we had a total of 26. Uh, UDX uh, 483 in uh, South Carolina, uh, Jake from State Farm, Pacific Northwest, Zip Tie, Chuck 546, Mississippi, uh, UDX 510 in uh, Pittsburgh, uh, 12, uh, who's that, 1910 in South Carolina, uh, Jed in South Carolina, Camshaft, uh, Washington State, uh, 21 Dirty Diaper, South Carolina, Twist 18, East Bay, 887 Dr. Jazz, North Carolina, uh, Silver Curse, uh, Missouri, uh, Brewster 30 out 6, Sacramento, Green Machine, Medford, Oregon, uh, 1137 in, in uh, Missouri, uh, Rainmaker in New York, uh, nine, excuse me, uh, Christy McFarland in Carmel, 918 Mean Machine, Gold River, Hemorrhoid in South Carolina, Bolte in B Needles, California, Fry M Fest in Fresno, uh, Dennis the Menace in Grass Valley, King Duckford, uh, in the North Dakota, and Popcorn East Bay, and finally Bestie in the East Bay, and a special thanks to uh, Bestie for doing the uh, the chat check in tonight. Really appreciate it. And uh, anyway, thanks for everyone for uh, joining us. I'll go ahead and leave the feed going if you guys want to chat. I really appreciate all the help and the relays and all like that. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy uh, Good Friday, everyone. Stay safe and enjoy your family time this weekend. And I'm out. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Bestie. Guy did a great job. Thank you. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you very much. I'll keep that on Type this tomorrow. And now, folks, it's time for a bong hit. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Such a strong station, 60 dB and going.
Looks like we didn't drop the feed on the read back. That was kind of nice. Whereabouts is your location? I'm over here. Are you over there? You did yeah, I'm right here, but man, you must be up high. Or were you part of that bong hit? Uh, it became a ghost town. Now the check-in's over, huh? <laughs> ghost town. I, dude, I just saw, I was sitting there listening to 17, and a tumbleweed just went by. <laughs> it's a tumbling, tumbling, tumbleweed. Can't wait to get my antenna back up so I can actually hear people. Uh, yeah, no pressure. Is he going up tomorrow? Uh, whenever Viking get uh, his tail landed over here. Hey, Viking. Get over to Hover's house. You gotta help him with his antenna, man. Viking, the antenna comes first. Forget the golf. You have to have little balls to play golf. Uh, that didn't work either, Hove. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to step away from the radio here for a minute. Well, at least I got my uh, man cave room here all done. Just waiting for the antenna to go up. The tassels and the black light? No, and that reminds me, I need another black light. Far out, man. Anyway, I'm stepping away from the radio. I'm going to go uh, hang out with Bessie a little bit. I'll leave the feed going. All right. Like the sign says that I have, forget the brownies, man. Well, if you have enough brownies, you will, man. Wait, what were we talking about? Forget the cake, man. Try the brownies. All right, say hi to Bestie for me. Tenfold. All right, everyone, enjoy your weekend. I'm going to step away from radio for a bit. I know you won't miss me, but I don't care. Yeah, I'm about ready to go to bed anyway. Night, night. Well, toodles.
Most of them are dogs. Hey, Pete, did uh, Land Crusher get his car started? I think he's uh, trying to get somebody to help him out. Do you know where he is? Uh, he's on the hill. Uh, is that in San Leandro or Hayward or what? I think he's between uh, San Leandro and Castro Valley. Gotcha. Yeah, I told him to turn everything off and then wait a couple minutes and then uh, see if it starts. And if it doesn't, try to make phone calls to see uh, who can help him over there. Is it a four-wheel four -wheel drive accessible area only, like rough? I think he's in the area where nobody will see him, he said. And he's driving a little SUV.
Hey, four four. Hey, four four one. Bobcat, you out there? Two two ZX, San Francisco. Hey, Bobcat, four four one. San Leandro, are you out there? Two two ZX. Pink in San Francisco calling. No copy. We'll be on the side. There we go. TTZX, you sound like a local. Yeah, who we got there? It's Pink. Pink Ground Crusher, 966. Oh, land crash. Okay, yeah, I've heard you on, but I don't have you in the log. What about to you? Uh, I'm in the uh, East Bay. Oh, okay. That's about where most people are, seems like. Yep, you sound like you're on a hill in San Francisco. Yeah, we're on Twin Peaks here. Not on the, the top, but just on the side. And uh, we just put up the station about six days ago. And uh, it seems to be working really well. I think I might have been one of the first people that you contacted. And uh, uh, if you're anywhere here at Twin Peaks, then yeah, it's got to do well. Yeah, I'm really surprised there aren't more people on the radio here in San Francisco because there's about half the city is up high. So, I mean, you, you just put up anything and you'd be able to get out all over the place. Yeah, can you still hear me? Yeah, you're coming in clear. All right, because uh, my battery's dead. No way to jump. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, just just uh, spit on it. Maybe it'll run. Oh, okay. Oh, you mean it's a sticky operator valve? Yeah, that's it. Or stick it into a potato. I hear you can run low voltage off a potato. Yeah, you put two or three of them in series, you can run the radio. Yeah, there you go. Put a whole bunch of potatoes in series and you can get enough power out of it. About a uh, hundred and uh, ten of them. Oh, you're that type of voltage, huh? No, I just happened to, uh, my daughter, when we did the, uh, the elementary science fair, that's what we did. We played with potatoes. Yeah, I found out about that with a game show on television. I forget what they called it, that you, you lived in a house and uh, for, like, two or three months, and they... Uh, one of the things they did was they they didn't let you have any electricity, but you get a potato and then they, you could keep the, the uh, clock going to know what time it was. And I was surprised that really worked. Was it Big Brother? That was the name of it. Yeah, Big Brother. Yeah, the very first one. That was the very best one of them all. I was just thinking to myself, no oh, way, that could have been really. Yeah, that was it, Big Brother, yeah. And uh, they had a garden out front, or uh, out in the back, and uh, they raised chickens, and then they had this big uh, big conflict, and uh, yeah, that was a really good one. I'll tell you what, if anybody ever wants to go do The Amazing Race, we, hey, I'm down. We make up some kind of story, we've been friends forever, whatever, Compelling story, I would love to do the Amazing Race. Yeah, I watched that a couple times where they raced, I think it was around the world, but uh, yeah, I thought Big Brother was pretty good. They, uh, the very first one that was in a compound, and towards the end, people started shooting messages into the compound, and they would find them, and, uh, and uh, they got their news that way. It was really kind of interesting. Yeah, 410, my area. I don't think I've ever seen the first one, but uh, I've seen a lot of them. But yes, a race, a race around the world, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be pretty young to be able to do that. Nah, come on. Yeah, 
Yeah, my travel days are over. I used to do it by bicycle. I'd bicycle all over the U.S. We bicycle down to uh, down to uh, Peru and went over the Andes. And uh, yeah, my traveling days are over. Are you still famous because uh, I bicycle? Oh, I'm a biker actually. When I started out, twenty, you know, just twenty years. BMX, blah blah blah, early eighties, this, that, blah blah blah. But yeah, I got into mountain bikes and uh, and I probably put on um, I don't know, I probably rode about five to six thousand miles a year for a while. That's right, people. I used to ride about five thousand miles a year. That's super Pete, he'll tell you. Oh, Super Pete, yeah, he's down south from where I am. But, uh, yeah, I used to ride so much bicycle that I wrecked my prostate. And uh, so they made me get off the bicycle. And uh, But I used to ride thousands of miles a year. I used to go up and down the the, um, the coast and uh, wherever I could ride. Yeah, well, you're on a... You're on a... Um 700, right? Type of bike, whatever road bike. No, I used to use mostly mountain bikes. The Schwinn mountain bike was my first one. It was a really heavy one, but it was, uh, that, I rode that one until it couldn't be ridden anymore. And then I went to custom-made bikes, uh, mountain bikes. And, uh, yeah, I rode those. I still got one left. Yeah, they sound like Gary Fisher or something. Yeah, not really. I <laughs> don't I wish. Just tell me about it. How about uh, Sheldon and Earl Brown? No, DePoster? Come on. I know a lot of them. Come on, we can play this game all day. No, I must have hit the head. Yeah, no, Sheldon Brown is dead on. No, is he so alive? Are you Sheldon Brown? You're not saying nothing. Come on, no. I'm not going to deny. I'm not going to say nothing. Huh? Well, if you are, a pleasure to meet Land Crusher, Land Crusher, got a copy? Holy shit! Land Crusher's on my deck. Land Crusher, you got a copy? Yeah, it's just coming on the phone. I try, yeah, I try. You got to start it? Yeah, I'm waiting on the phone, He's coming? Yeah, I'm on the move. Oh, right on, man, thank you. I'm just a little bit up the way, but I'm in the route. Right on, guys. Be safe. You know, I think I'm tripping on up these hot lights are fucking bright as fuck. That's because you got those LED lights. Well, I don't have no LED. Nothing is a stock ass Toyota fucking RAV4, man. Like some headlights, everything is super bright. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, now they're a little yellow. Forget it. Hey, are you sure you got it in park? Yeah. Oh, and I hit my brake, too. What was that? I said, oh, and I hit my brake, too. Yeah, double check. Try to put it in neutral and then uh, shove it in park. Maybe it will start. Is it in park? Motherfucker, I'm alright. Everything's good. Alright, my battery's 
sir. Hold on. I have to tell her to shut up. What? There is nobody around you, right? No, I, I made her, I, I asked her to say hello. <laughs> wow, that is uh, a lot of hellos. I watched on the stage again, right? Hey, 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 come here. Be nice. Be nice. The girl. Say hi to Peter. Say hello. Hey, corazón. Say That's her nickname, Crazy. Go, go! Go, go! So I feel more calm and not worry about anything. I mean, it's only, what, 15 minute long, 20 minute long, 30 at most. I don't have to worry about anybody coming up to me and threatening me. <laughs> uh, you stay with her. You totally stay with her. But it's going to get cold tonight. Nobody goes by there. That's right. This is not a. It's not a power glide. It's not a power glide. It's not a uh, a fully drive type transmission. No, I can't. You know, 1940s, 80s or whatever, where I can actually put it on the road and get it up to about 35, 45 miles an hour. And it'll push start it or bump start it, whatever, for an automatic. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, no. Be right back. Yeah, everything's going to 
Can you hear me? Breaker, breaker. 